it is clear that fighting the rise of ocean plastics is becoming a huge business issue driven by consumers demanding change and governments taking action, like all the bans on plastic straws we've been seeing. It is also so urgent that the CEOs of arch rivals Coca-Cola and PepsiCo did something that some might think is unthinkable, sat down with me in a panel together to talk about this problem and how they were actually working together to fight it. Take a look. It's not just a problem for Coca-Cola, which it is. I think it's a, it's a global challenge. And uh, we've set ourselves a very simple goal because the way we look at it is, you know, we've got to look after the things that are intrinsic to our, to our products, whether it's the product itself, the water we use, or the packaging. It's a doable thing. We've, we've proven it in countries. Where there are countries with over 90% of this solved. Uh, we need just to take it to a global scale. Everyone's signing on, everyone's committing capital, everyone's making promises. When do we start to really get that, the action behind all that? Well, I, I th firstly, I think it's great that everyone's coming together. Um, um, there, are, there are plenty of issues in the world where you don't see this level of uh, collaboration right up and down the value stream. And there are no ocean plastic deniers. No. <laughs> and actually, I agree with the minister. It's not just about the fact that plastic gets into the ocean. Plastic waste in the soil can, can become a problem too. So this is, we see the stuff in the ocean, but the stuff in the landfills is also a problem. So we need to get it back. Um, I think what's happening is there's a lot of momentum behind the pledges. We are moving to the stage of not just individual action and individual country successes, we're moving to su success at scale. How much of, of these efforts are driven by demands from the consumer? And what is the consumer telling you? The consumers in some parts of the world uh, with some levels of education and some wealth, they are very concerned about this. Um, many other consumers, unfortunately, yes. they're not. Right. So I think in this case, um, I think the companies are ahead of demand. We're seeing that brands with purpose grow faster. So it's, 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 you know, it's a broader topic. It's not only plastics, but we're seeing that brands that have a purpose, that have a, um, you know, want to have an impact on society and have a role in, in making society better. I mean, James, how do you think about this in terms of the overall profit picture? We've worked on recycling facilities, on collection systems around the world. These all cost money. Um, of course, oh, if you do it over time, it's more absorbable, but it does cost money. But in the end, if you believe it's right and it needs to be done, it's better to embrace it and get on with it than wait for the, the train to crash. What makes me very optimistic about this process is, I think, uh, the, 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 there are real beliefs from all the leaders of most of the consumer goods companies, and it's personal beliefs, yes. personal beliefs beyond organization. It's personal beliefs that we, we need to solve for this. Ramon invested in SodaStream. We have our freestyle machines. We have machines where you bring your own cup and you can dispense free water or, or pay money to add stuff. This is completely possible. A lot of cohesion there among the beverage giants, of course, doesn't mean anything for the cola wars. But guys, this is going to be an issue in the boardrooms and it's going to be an issue for investors. I think that's my biggest takeaway from Davos and, and John Carlin Morgan. When I hear James Quincy, the CEO of Coca-Cola, point out his competitor's acquisition of SodaStream, it really takes you back to the company stories and earnings and why they're making certain strategic moves for the purpose of sustainability and trying to change consumer behavior and also trying to appeal to consumers who are demanding change. He says he's got the freestyle and of course is working on Dasani machines where you can go on college campuses and get away from plastic bottles but also work on recycling plastic bottles. So, so an increasing issue that I think is gonna get a lot more attention and I can say beyond talk of the global economy guys was the number one hot button issue for CEOs from members of the government here and for investors in Davos.